Tell him whatever he says, I will make up what I think it, he's saying. <laughs> it, it, it may not be accurate at all. Uh, improv. Jump us up. They're discussing what they're going to have for dinner. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Epic. Why am I always so angry? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I'm gonna let you down! <laughs> all imagine what was actually said. <laughs> you can all just run that through Google Translate when you get home. Yeah. <laughs> we need you, like, Herms. We need you, Herms. You know, we need you, Herms. Herms. Is $15. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to ask Herms later. Excellent. It is so awesome for me to hear this man's voice. Uh, yes, it in is. Person, yeah. like, We have a final question, we're going to wrap up here real quick. Okay. Now, with, when it comes to Vegeta and Trunks, how do you feel their dynamic is as a relationship? Like, does he actually, uh, does Vegeta actually accept him as his son? I'd say absolutely he does. I think that was very clear. He may not be good at expressing it, um, but he's better than Goku at expressing it. He took his kid to the park once. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think he does love his son, and he does respect his son, for sure. I ハグしてやったことがなかった。ハグさせてくれと。ブルマを uh, I agree with Chris. Um, there's a lot, there's actually a scene uh, where they're about to go fight Boo, um, and uh, he really wanted to, to fight with his son. Um, there's a lot of uh, parts in the anime as well where um, there's people who are. Uh, who he cares for, for example, Bulma, um, and with Trunks as well, he cares for them. And from now, it's been that he's fighting for other people as well, his family, uh, he has other people to fight for as well. So I really think that through these, these different scenes that shows that he loves Bulma and he loves Trunks um, as well. So yeah, I agree with Chris. Uh, 